Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to the Road to Godseeker Part 2. Um, so, for those of you that haven't seen Part 1, basically, we're going from the lowest elo, which is 800 elo, to the highest elo, which is a Godseeker top 10 in the game, with this build. This build is actually a build I actually progressed in one of my progression videos called the best build in Deep Woken. So, uh, if you want to copy this build, go ahead and watch that progression. But, yeah, today... Um, so we ended off uh, Road to the Godseeker Part 1 at 1200 ELO. We gained 400 ELO in the first part. So uh, yeah, today we're going to be seeing how much ELO we can gain in this part as well. So uh, let's get started with Chime Conflict, guys. And uh, yeah, this is unironically the best build in Deep Woken. And I'm here to prove it by getting the Godseeker with it, okay? I'm here to prove that my titles are not clickbait, okay? Uh, let's go to the Chime Solos, guys. Okay, guys, uh, this can be our first match of the day. I am... I. I'm a little bit rusty since I haven't played at all yesterday or today. <clears throat> so this can be our first match. He said Supa. Alright, let's hit him with um, as much um, Iron Sling Mantras as we can. Just so we can deplete his armor real quick. He doesn't have the best armor in the game. But it's still nice to get rid of his armor. So that um, we, we can just shred his HP, right? So here, boom, there we go. Okay, we didn't get Oxidizing Rush, but if we managed to land that Oxidizing Rush, we've been, like, actually set. So let's get the Spine Cutter off. Oh, or not. That's fine. When we actually block break him, we'll get the Spine Cutter off, but let's keep dancing around him. Uh, let me make sure I inhale as well for the 40% uh, damage increase. Boom! Spine Cutter! That Spine Cutter had an inhale and speed even proc at the same time, so that was a 40% extra... Whoa, okay. For that single M1, <clears throat> it had Spine Cutter proc, it had speed even proc, it had inhale proc yeah, it's so much stuff procced. Um, let me land. Let me land Le Needle Barrage. There we go. And his armor should be, like, actually hurting right now. I I don't imagine him having um, any armor durability left. Especially since we're, we have Metal Enchant. A lot of people don't see I actually have an Enchant. Because you guys were, like, telling me in the comments to get Enchant. Bro, I, I actually, I literally have Metal. But let's him with the Spine Cutter. There we go. Try to get Oxidizing Rush. And his armor's gone. Yep. Bro, we see him with the Oxidizing Rush and... <laughs> and a Needle Brush. Like, rest in peace your armor. Also, I need to start using uh, uh, Metal Armor as more. Because it is such a good mantra. It's just free M1 damage, right? So I don't know why I'm not using it more. Here, let's just critical him. Into... Oh, ow. Bro, he has the Hollow Tide enchant. For some reason. But, uh, yeah, he, he got knocked super fast. So... Okay, let's see how much elo we have from that. Plus 8, we have 1,236 elo. Uh, let's go to the next uh, next match, guys. Okay, guys, next match is against a Railblade. To be honest, Railblade is the only heavy weapon that is actually good, other than Grand Sariska and Crypt Blade. So let's just start uh, wailing on him. Let's get the Astral Wind off. Uh, let's also inhale for the extra speed. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's done for. We just got a Flourish off. When he had a ton of rods on him. He, he, guys, he, is act, he actually has no armor left anymore. We just depleted him of all his armor. Um, let's inhale for the damage increase. Let's do a little critical. Calm little crit. Ow. Gah. Uh oh. Yo, you were not hitting that. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So, after you land um, two Oxides and Rushes, they unironically have no armor left. So, we're basically fighting someone in rags right now. Ow. So, let me just keep blocking. Let me also activate Ardor. Um, I pressed G on accident. Bruh, I remember, like, someone commenting where it's like, me and my accident event while trying to press H. I was like, oh, I, I've never done that before. And I just did it, like, right now. Um, here. Oh. Okay, low-key, I'm selling. Can I, can I please lock in? Guys, chill on me. It's my, it's my second match of the day. But, uh, we were doing really good in the beginning. I'm just, um, selling quite a bit right now. But, um, bro, the distance she's at, it was crazy, by the way. But, hey, we'll let it go. Okay, let's start clutching up. Boom. Oxygen Rush. Let's just block this stuff. Bah! Just dance around him with our insane mobility. Nope, you're not hitting that. Did the little Astral Wind into critical. Oh, bro, how did that Needle Barrage not hit? That was like a direct hit as well. Okay, there we go. Boom. And he should be knocked soon. I, I would hope he's knocked soon. Because I've been hitting him like a thousand times. And his armor is depleted as well. So, he either has the most insane HP kit. Oh. 
Here, let's just hit him with this. Except that does not land. It's fine. And I'm out of ether right now. So, we're going to have to use M1s right now. But that's fine. It's it's a flame keeper versus a rail blade. M1 wise. And as long as we inhale as well. How do you hit that? Bah! There we go. And then a little flame assault. Calm little flame assault. Another critical. Into an arc. M1s. Bro. I, when I'm playing fist. My favorite button to press is R. It's so, it's so nice. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can impale him. I, uh, I don't think so yet, but um, we can try, you know. Here, let's see. Oh, we can. Here, let's just dodge out this, and there we go. All right, guys, that's the second chime match. He said super. Let's see how much elo we got from that. Eight elo. Okay, let's just uh do another match. All right, guys. Uh, our third match. Uh, Loki, he looks drippy. I'm not even gonna hate on his drip. Because why he actually drippy? But, bro cannot parry. He ate all of that. Oh. Nope. Okay, he almost hit me with that. Not gonna lie. But, here. Let's do Oxidize Rush. We need to land, um, some metal rods on him. So we can get his armor out of the out of the fight early. Bro, I am not hitting you while, while you're in that. Also, where did my needle brush go? Bro, that actually, like... That actually hit him. Also, why is this guy playing like this? Hello? <laughs> Calm down. Boom. That was Speed Demon and Inhale all at the same time. Um, what are you doing? Ow. Here. Boom. Get some rods. Okay, hold on. I'm not going to be able to talk so much because I'm going to have to focus up because this guy's playing like really, um, really aggressive. So... When someone like out aggresses me, I'm I'm already pretty aggressive, right? But when someone out aggresses me, um, I I, I find it difficult to talk because like I need to actually like focus up and uh, what I what I'm doing, right? Because listen, bro, it is hard to like fight and talk at the same time. So here, let's just uh get out of here. I mean, he's playing this aggressive, but we're doing really good, guys. Like. We have not gotten below four bars, and I could have got a spine cutter off, but oh, did not matter because we just got four free M ones. Um, his armor should be depleted right now, I think. Oh, what was that parry trade? Come on, ow! Right, he has not landed a single contractor move yet. Okay, let's just do metal armor and hit inhale. Hit him with the critical spine cutter. And I know that hurt, because that had uh, Speed Demon as well. Here, let's just uh, impale him, and there we go. GG. Let's see. He probably gave a lot of elo, because people that play like that, they usually climb up in uh, elo so fast. So, 18 elo from him. That was very good. Let's go to the ma next match, guys. At this rate, we're going to get God Seeker in no time. Trust me. Okay, guys. Next match is... What is that? Oh, it's a Crypt Blade. Okay, this is going to be pretty easy. Bro, a lot of people have... No, he's invisible. Oh, I thought, bro, I thought he just became invisible for a second and that uh, we were going to have to fight Casper the Ghost in this chime match. So, like I was saying, a lot of people have issues with fine Crypt Blade. Me, personally, I don't have that much of an issue. It's, it, it's still like a heavy weapon. The only heavy weapons I, I personally have struggled with is Rail Blade, just because the Rail Blade critical is so strong. Um, also, Grand Tariska. Grand Tariska feels like a medium weapon at times, so he said what? He said the lag. Um, okay, guys. We're about to have four wins in a row. Let's hit him with the needle barrage. Oh, my God. He is lagging. Did you guys see? Bro, he, he like flew to the corner. Ow. Hold on. Let me get him off me. And do Astro Wind. Ow. Bro, he managed to get the spine cutter off <laughs> with the grip blade. That actually genuinely hurt. Here, let's dodge. Boom. Let's do critical as I mean, not critical. Let's just inhale as well. Uh, inhale again since uh, we did not get hit off in time. Oh, can I? Let me lock in. How am I getting hit by this stuff? I'm so confused. <laughs> but he's, he's super low. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can tell by his shadow assault. That actually took him nowhere. So let's just do spine cutter. And then uh, raining kick into... No way. Bro, slide me out of the air, bro. All right. Here, let's just keep blocking. Uh, we are not getting hit by that. Bro. Okay, you are not hitting the Eclipse Kick, pal. Let's lock in. Okay. 
boom. What? Raheem is over near. I just lost all my ether as well. So we're going to have to play M1s now, guys. Until we get our ether back. So, let's do it. Um, I got really low. I got too confident that I was going to win. So now I actually have to like try. So let's just do Needle Barrage. Don't worry. Bah! No. If he got brought up in the air, he... How is he moving? Wow, block broken. I'm so confused. Bro is tweaking. You guys not see him? He's actually like genuinely tweaking. What is, what is wrong with bro? <laughs> Here. Ah. Oh, he parried that stuff. Okay. Let's just um clutch up. I'm going to try not to get hit. Bro, what is he? Bro, he is on something. Boom. Oxidizing and rush. I was hoping we would get metal rods off, but it's fine. Here, let's just do you. Bah! Flame leap into Astro Wind. And there we go. Also, my might is unmuted. Awkward. Bro, sometimes... Oh, he said, wait, Zupa. Guys, sometimes when I get like too confident on win, I just like take hits to be more aggressive. And I get really low. But if I play passively from the start, I'm going to have a guy in that low. So let's just go to new match. Okay, guys. Next match. Uh, I find it funny that he said, wait, Zupa. Right after I left my Roblox VC on on accident. Yo, what happened to the bro's cut? Yo, what happened to the bro's fade? Oh my god, he's he's screaming in Roblox VC. Um, let's just hit him with the Oxidizing Rush. And then let's do Critical. There we go, Spine Cutter, Asher Wind. Guys, I can't focus while he's screaming in Roblox VC. I need to mute him. I'm sorry. You guys, if you guys have been watching me, you know I, I, I just literally cannot focus uh, with other people talking. So... Here, let's just uh, try to hit him with the Impale proc. There we go. Bah. Okay, we just got two free M1s with 40% damage. Really, really good. Oh, no. Get off me. He used Ice, ice Cubes too. I, bro, Ice Cubes is like my arch nemesis. I I hate Ice Cubes. It's so like difficult to react to it because they can put it out at any time. It's such a like a... Uh, ow. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop the app. Was that on his clone or was that on him? Nope, that was on him. Boom. Hopefully, when we defeat this guy, we get 1300 elo. And then, um... Bro, Godseeker is like 2000 elo, so we're actually like getting super close, guys. I mean, in these past four matches, I got 100 elo. Uh, so at this pace, we are doing numbers, trust me. Let's keep uh, fighting him. Oh, he has uh, ice cubes now, so let me just play from range. So that when he does use it, I can like predict it. Oh, he got block broken. No, get your clones off me. Here, let me vent him off to get rid of his clones. I didn't know you could actually like vent people to get rid of their clones until um like very late. So it's a nice thing. Ow. Bro, the crit is crit is so buggy. Like you get plash broken and then you like uh, move a thousand miles away, but it still like shows it as if um like it still brings you to them. Like, look at that. Like, I was nowhere near. But it's fine. Let's do critical. He's really good at pairing fists. I'll give him that. Boom. Because if this was me, I would not be as good as him pairing fists. Okay. Boom. Oh, he's wraps. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, let's grip. And let's see how much elo we have from here. Okay. Eight more until uh, 1,300 elo. We're actually balling. So let's do the next match, guys. Oh, we're finding the same guy. So this guy is actually going to get us to 1300 ELO. So we started at like 1200. Um, and in five matches. Ow. Oh my. My health? What happened? Bro, what happened to my two bars of health in an instant? That's crazy work. Okay, let's just do Needle Barrage. He's talking in Roblox. So I'm going to have to mute him real quick. But let's just do this. And then let's mute him real quick. There we go. Where is he? He just did vision shape clones on me, so let me defend him off because, bro, vision shape clones with grants risk of critical, that's some nasty work. Some actually nasty work that I never want to see ever again, okay? Oh, he's he's wraps. He's losing so much armor. And then when we hit critical, it, it's just done for for him. Boom. Yeah, he he's he's wraps, guys. Let's just hit him with oxidizing rush one more time. And he has lost all his armor. He's basically in rags now. So, some crazy work by us. No! I didn't vent him off! Oh, it's fine, though. 
Okay. We also have a talent where if we hit people with a lot of rods on them, um, they lose armor really fast. And because we have metal, each one of our M1s is doing like like 20% uh, armor damage. So all it takes is like five M1s with max rods to deplete their armor. Something crazy like that. And now, now that he has uh, no armor left, he takes 10% more damage with a talent called like... I forgot what the talent was called, but... You were not even near, okay? Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, let's keep block parrying, dodging. Let's parry this into needle brush, and then, uh, okay. Bro is becoming the parry demon. Where was this at the start? Or where was this last match? All right, little inhale, calm little inhale for the damage increase, and bro, okay. Where is he? I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Here, let's do Flame Leap to get out. Bro, I'm stuck. And I'm, I have no ether. Bro, I'm stuck inside the lantern. And he's trying to he's trying to defeat me while I'm stuck inside the lantern. Oh, no way. I Radiant Kicked to him. And I'm still stuck. Oh, okay. We Radiant Kicked out. Thankfully. I was low-key worried. I was high-key worried, actually. But, um... Alright. And there we go. Alright, guys. Let's just grip. We got stuck inside the little lantern. But, GG. And bam, 1300 elo. Uh, we're making we're making big moves. By the end of this progression, hopefully I'm like 1400 or 1500. All right, guys. Next opponent is a curved. He said, "Hey, yo." He said, "Hey, super." All right. So let's focus on defeating this guy. Let's do. Wait, bro. I tried to use raining kick and it did not work. So it's a flame curved. And because he has that mantra. I'm just going to assume that he's going to use it every possible chance he can when it's off cooldown. So, uh, we can't play too aggressive because that that move, like, punishes people that are very aggressive. Um, it punishes it really good, actually. So, let's just do this. And then hit him with the Astral Wind. Oh, bro, did not get hit by the Astral Wind. But we hit him with the Spine Cutter. Okay. Let's do Inhale for the damage boost. Oh, he, he's wraps. He's going to lose all his armor. One, two, three... Four, I mean three, one more hit and, they, and then all his armor is depleted. Oh no, the rods went out. Okay, it's fine. If we hit the, the swords that we have on us, then we'll be fine. Let me just vent him off because, um, also he just wasted his, uh, his, his little whip. I, I forgot the blood, the flame scourge thing. I forgot the name of it, but I just know he wasted it. Let's get those rods on him. Astro wind. Oh yeah, we're, we're piecing him up. Oh my God. Bro, that should have hit, but okay. Because the range on that thing is so, like, big. But here, let's not get a fight with this. Our armor. I mean, um, our posture has seen better days. But Spine Cutter. A little calm little inhale. And we should be chilling. Let's just do our inhale for safe measures. Oh. Oh, I was wondering why I couldn't use Raining Kick. And I realized it's because I was suffocated through him, so. Boom. There we go. Bah! Uh, your reps. It, it's over for bro. Why am I on fire? Is he knocked? Yeah, he is. All right, GG. Bro, we are defeating people so fast. It, it's not because they don't have an insane HP kit. It's because we're depleting all their armor. That's that's quite literally the reason. So, all right, guys. Next bounty. It's a curved. He said, oh, no. Uh, so, we're uh, seeing the progression, but... Oh, we're whacking him in the corner. Um, ow. Okay. Why am I so laggy? This is not a Texas server. It feels so laggy for some reason. Like, my, my needle barrages didn't even, like, land on him. Even though it should have. Because it was just, like, stuck in the air. Here, let's just hit him with flame. Huh. He parried my flame assault while in his uh, little star kindred move. Okay, then. Here, let me just... How did he outspeed my, my fist critical with a curved? Okay, actually, let me clutch up our focus up. Because right now, we're not even, like, losing. We're actually winning, but um, I'm just getting caught off guard by a lot of stuff. Like, bro, how are you swinging after my critical and landing it? Like, I'm a, I'm a light weapon. You're a medium. What? Okay. Metal arm and it procced. Oh, we got some rods in. Let's just hit him a few times with Blee's armor. Uh, vent him off. Do this. There we go. Some just extra damage. Bro, get off me. Please. Okay. Here. Whoa. I 
I flame leaped into his star kindred thing. I am so... Bro, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm actually trolling. Let me... Let me focus up. Okay. Let's inhale. Uh, dodge this. Combo inhale. Into your needle barrage. Um, flame assault. Metal armor as well. Just so when we hit him, we have the extra pressure. And let's not get hit into that. There we go. And boom. Let's just impale him. Okay. Yeah, I was going to impale him for extra damage, but it's fine. Because we got the uh, flourish off as well. So we didn't even need that. I want him to use Wind Passage so I can see his health. But I don't imagine he's like full, right? He can't be full. <laughs> Here, boom. Oh no, I thought the Oxidizing Rush hit. And bro, my my ether is completely, um, or my tempo is completely gone. Cause I've just been venting so much. Um, okay, let's get rid of this. Let's do you. Ow. Ow. Here, Oxidizing Rush. Do we hit that? Yeah, we do. You can see, like, he's constantly holding F because he doesn't want me to pull out the rods. Which, pretty smart. But we just do this. There we go. <laughs> Alright, and he should be low. Here, let's just do Africa into that. Um, I can't spam my mantras no more, but there we go. Uh, I sold during that fight, but GG. This seems much we got from that. Plus 10. Not bad. Uh, okay. We should be at 1400 pretty soon, so let's keep going. Alright, guys. Uh, our next, our next fight is a heavy obfuscation user. So, Dark Steel Greatsword, I have never seen that in Chime Conflict ever. So, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a pretty easy fight. It is like completely like out of the meta in Chime. So, and he, and plus he already has so much rods on him and we just flourished him. Yeah, it, it's wraps for him. He's, um, bro, this is just free elo at this point. But he does damage. He just did half a bar to me with that one combo. But maybe because I just didn't press F for three of his moves. Um, but it's fine. Let's just uh, parry into you. And then bop. Okay. Let's get the metal armor now out. And also inhale. A uh, two for one deal. Boom. Let me just constantly inhale as well for the damage boost on my M1s. There we go. Inhale again. Oh no. I accidentally used wind gun that time. I meant to inhale it. Um... Let's use Flame Assault. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry. My dog was barking. Let's just do Spine Cutter. Oh, he has a shield, so he doesn't get Spine Cuttered. But um, he should be almost knocked because, I mean, I fit him so much. His armor is completely depleted as well. And, yeah, there we go. We're probably not going to get a lot of elo from this. This was probably like a 1,000 elo, I'd say. Yeah, we got 7 elo. Okay, guys. Let's just uh next try match, you know? Okay, guys. Uh... We have a heavy weapon with Nemesis. He said, Aqua, tell Super I'm a fan. Does he know? Bro does not know. Also, he just used Flame Wisp. Let me use that as well. I still have to modify my Flame Wisp, but I'm too lazy to. I'm too lazy to get all the log stones and the notes. I, I mean, I have the notes right now, but I'm too lazy to get all the log stones. So, I'll do that stuff later. Uh, right now, in this slow chime, we don't really need a fully modified Flame Wisp, to be honest. Like... It, it's not needed that much so yeah that's why i haven't been stressing too much about it but it it does add up like a, a whole flame wisp with max lock zones heals you like 10 percent which is actually like really uh game changing in chime because that's like 40 health and you know those fights where you win by like one percent bro i am demolishing this guy while yapping bruh i am not getting hit once oh Oh, okay, that was cold. <laughs> that combo was cold. Why do I always jinx myself? I'm like, I'm demolishing this guy while yapping. And then, and I just get hit by a combo like that. It's like, bro, I am jinxing myself. Here, let's do a little flame assault. Into, boom. Oh, he's wraps. Oh, you know it's wraps. Here, let's just please armor. Because he has, ow. Ow, I actually could not move during that. I want to impale him. There we go. Just gets a health low. What? Did he flame leap me? I think he flame leaped me mid my flame leap. Actually, so impressive. <laughs> Bro, I was I was flawlessing this guy at the start, and then um and then I let my guard get down. Bro, this is getting awfully close. 
I am not gonna lie. Hold on. You're just getting so close. I was doing so good in the beginning too, you know? Here, boom. Let's just in- No. Let's get those rods out of him. And he's so low. This should- I have not gotten- I should not have gotten this low um, in this match. I'm not gonna lose, but like- But like, uh, I should not have gotten this low. It's- I definitely got too confident when I saw I was like greening him. So, oh, that would've been nice if we pushed him into the storm, but- Let's just up our parry game and not get hit at all. Calm little um, metal arm in it. Boom. There we go. He, bro, he is tanky. What the? How did he just take four M1s? I thought, bro, I would imagine this guy's like on his last, like, last bar. You know? But he's still, bro, he's still going. Okay. That's fine. What is bro cooking? Little radiant kick into flame assault. Um, yeah, we're not gonna, I should probably start spitting, but I feel like it's too late into the chime match to start the spitting game, because once you spit, they start spitting too, because then you remind them that spitting exists, so, ow, okay, he's gonna do critical right now, or not, there we go, we parry that, boom, raining kick, into flame assault, hmm, okay, let me just get, let me just empower my M1s since I'm just M1ing right now since I have no, um, since I have no ether. So yeah, um, needle barrage into spit. I missed the spit. Okay, but there we go. I, I got really confident at the beginning and, um, I got super low because of it. But we got 16 elo, not bad. Let's go to the next match, guys. Oh, it's a, it's a Vactus member. Bro, I'm fighting one of my own. I'm fighting Jackie Wacky as a Vactus member. Uh, let's see what he says. He says, Dot. What? What the freak he said? Alright, guys. Let's see how good uh, my Vactus member Jackie Wacky is. Okay. Here, let's do Asher Wind. Uh, inhale our. Did he just pull me to him? Oh, yeah, let's just critical that because he had hyper armor during that. Here. Boom. There we go. It's your Radiant Kick. Oh, he is. Yeah, it might be Rapture Jackie Wacky. <laughs> it, oh wait, hold on, please. He's got so much blood healing off that as well. Okay, boom. Uh, right now I'm just trying to please armor. I don't know why he has obfuscation. Um, what weapon is that, guys? Let me know in the comments because I, I'm not sure. Or I could just ask him myself, but I'd rather you guys just comment. Okay, and subscribe. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Like too. Like the video. Like subscribe. Everything. <laughs> Okay, let's just keep hitting him. Let's do critical into spine cutter. There we go. And uh, he, his armor should be completely depleted as well. So, bruh, how do I not see that pool? <laughs> how do I not see that? I'm actually like genuinely curious. Here, let's just do critical. I, I, I somehow missed the critical, but okay. No, you are not hitting that as well. Okay, maybe you are hitting that. Please. Okay, Needle Barrage into Critical. Uh, Oxidizer Rush. Nice. Let's uh, inhale into Asher Wind. Bro, how do I not hit the Asher Wind? Okay, but here. Bah. Jackie is like 1600 ELO, I think. Last time I spoke to him at least, he might have uh, increased, but that just means... So what this means, guys, is that we're at 13... 1350 elo fighting like uh people with 300 above our elo so that's pretty good for us because that means we're gonna get a lot more elo from these wins so oh he's knocked he said rah okay guys let's see how much elo we get 18 elo yeah i i kind of knew it so uh we're very close to 1400 we might be able to get 1500 this progression we'll see oh i'm fighting uh jackie wacky again all right uh let's get my inhale ready and uh Let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's see if Bro can uh, clutch up this time. Bro, he pulled me out of a flame assault into, um... Oh my god, I'm selling. Bro, he pulled me out of a flame assault with his metal pool. I have never seen anyone ever use metal pool. So it's, um, it's surprising, you know? Also, Bro's upped his parry game. Bro, Bro does not want to lose this time. Bro. How can I not even see the metal pool? It's like... 
I don't know what tech he's using, or if that's just like actually just the mantra, but I cannot see metal pools in my life. Let's hit him with this into Astro Wind. Uh, let's get some inhales, because I want my mantras to be empowered, or my, my M1s to be empowered, but uh, we're going to have to inhale again, because we like messed it up, but okay. Boom. There we go. Bah. We should, bro, after this win, we're going to be so close to, um, we're going to be so close to 1400 ELO. We're just climbing ELO like crazy with this build. Um, it's such a crazy build. Here, let's do Needle Impale. And then, let's just hit him a couple times with those, those rods in him. Since you guys already know, the more rods you have, um, the better, armor-wise. Also, the reason I pulled it out is because they were about to like disappear. So, I just wanted the extra damage without it disappearing, right? So, let's do Flame Assault. Calm little Flame Assault into... Oh, he's cooked. I hit him with the inhale and metal armor uh, M1. Yeah. Flip him over because he's cooked. Bro, I genuinely cannot react to the metal pool. Like, <laughs> I'm not even saying it because it's skill issue. I, I just actually just do not see it. Me and my graphics are so down that I don't see it. But, um, what is he doing? What is, ow. What is bro doing? Oxidizing rush, calm little oxidizing rush into pool. And there we go. This one was a lot faster than the other fight. Okay, 1381 ELO. We have not lost a single match yet. So, we're actually cooking people. We're, we're saucing them up. Okay, guys, we actually have someone new. Uh, Rail Blade. So, I might struggle a little bit with this. Just because I struggle against Rail Blades, but we'll see. Alright, finally wants to fight. He was just sitting in FF for a bit because he said nothing was loaded. So, here, let's hit him with this. Spine Cutter. But it's been a bit since I got Spine Cutter off. I'm not going to uh, lie to you guys. But, um, what is he doing? Bruh, he's a nah whiz as FPS. Okay, let's critical. This looked like free elo. We might be able to get 1400 elo off him. We're about to find out. Let's hit him with the flame assault into Asher Wind. What is bro doing? Here, oxidizing rush. There we go. Uh, that's all his armor gone since so he just got flourish. And we just hit three M1s off. And we got a spine cutter. Okay, guys, this is free elo. All those swords just went into him too. Another spine cutter. And it's, he, it's wraps. I low-key feel bad, to be honest. Let's see how much elo we got from that. We got 10 elo. So he wasn't even like, he was not low elo at all. Alright, so one more match and then we'll be 1400. Alright guys, let's see the guy who's going to get us to 1400 elo. It's a Storm's Eye. Okay, we're going to have to work for this one. I am terrible at fighting Storm's Eye. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to work for this one a lot. Here, let's just do Radiant Kick into Flame Assault. Or he could just not parry and make my job easy, you know? That is, that is also, like, um, an option, to be honest. Boom. Little calm, little critical. We also procced our Scrap Singer, so his armor is, like, completely... Bro, he just did the cha-cha slide with that Thunder Kick. Oh, my. Where's my posture? Where's my... Where's my posture? Bro, I tried to um, do Ardor, and I pressed G on accident. This is the second time I've, I've done that. And I've never done that ever in my life before. It's actually crazy. Here. Ow. Okay, if you want to range me, then I'll just range you too. Okay, I forgot he's a Storm Eye, so that means he's going to play from range. Um, you are not getting a, a close-up with a Storm's Eye. But that's fine, because we do have range mantras such as... Uh, Bro, hit me mid-flame leap. That's some crazy work. Here. Uh, usually, with people that play ranged, they're not too good at parrying. So, when they do get close quarters with me, it should be pretty easy. Uh, let me just keep dodging. Boom. Spine cutter. There we go. Hopefully, his armor is uh, somewhat depleted. But, boom. Uh, he's wraps. He's wraps. He's wraps. He forgot to parry. He forgot to parry. Like, actually, he forgot. Ow. Bro, I got six M1s in, a spine cutter, some swords. It so wraps. Oh, please. He's about to do this. How'd I know? Boom. Flame assault into Ash of Wind. You're cooked. You're cooked. Critical. Why is he playing close quarters with me? You should just stick to ranging. Like. 
I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm just like giving you advice. Just stick to ranging. There we go. All right, 1400 ELO, hopefully. 22 ELO. That guy was like 1800 ELO or something. Well, I wouldn't be surprised when you play like that. Oh, guys, our match is Minecraft fan. This used to be like an ex Vactus member. Bro, what is with Vactus members wearing Nomad uh, outfits? Is there like a is there is there like a trend that I'm missing out on? Because Jackie did it, and now Minecraft did it as well. Um, all right, Minecraft is very good. Also, we just dodged his his uh his, <laughs> his lava eruption thing when he gets block broken. So I didn't know you could do that. That was actually my first time ever uh, dodging that. So now you know. Now every single time I'm block breaking him. I'm gonna do a roll cancel. So okay, let's do this. There we go. Spine cutter. Bah. Here, let's do flame assault as well. Um, let's hit. Ow. Here. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Guys, I was doing so good too. Like I, I had such a big lead, and then I got hit by that combo, and I lost my lead completely. It's actually crazy. Here, metal armor and inhale. Oh, he's he's cooked. Yeah, you're cooked. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, is that is that clips kick he just tried to hit me with? Here, ow. Okay. You know I tried to roll cancel it so I didn't get hit by it, but it just didn't work. But let's just hit him with this into. No, you're not hitting me with the ice smash. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Bruh, he, he got knocked super fast. Alright, let's see how much elo. 13 elo. And uh, on to the next match, guys. Bro, we have not lost a single match yet. Okay, guys. Uh, we have a Frost Hero Blade. Um, that scares me. I, I am traumatized by people with Frost Hero Blade. But they put down ice for us. So what that means is that we can slide like a little ballerina now. Bruh, no way my Flame Assault got canceled by, um, by a little, like, ledge. <laughs> Okay, so Frost Hero Blades, it's the same deal as like rifle users. They're never getting like close range you. Also, he has a shield, but he, he still takes damage to Spine Cutter, so he never got the talent. Uh, if you're watching this, you should probably get that talent, to be honest. Oh, he does decent damage. Not that much, I think. I mean, I took like half a bar in three hits, so. Actually, damage is not that bad. Let's just do critical. Um. Boom, into Flame Assault. Uh, let's just block this and do a little uh, Calm Lil flame, flame Leap into Metal Armnet and also uh, Inhale. And he's cooked. He has so much rods on him. So now, all we have to do is just hit him four times and his armor gets depleted. Out. Let me out. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to pull it because it's about to... Um, I was about to lose the rods in like two seconds. I'm trying to get like a good time of when you actually lose the rods and... I think I had like two seconds left to spare before the rods disappeared and I would have lost that free damage, so I'm very glad I actually picked the path with this build because I didn't realize I would actually be using uh, that that move way more than I would, right? Um, okay, what's, what's he doing? Bruh, prediction me. Can we lock in? Bruh, I hit him with a raining kick and then I get a free needle barrage off. Wait, that might be like un- Undodgeable. I might have to start doing that more. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, he actually hit that? Okay. Bruh, he slid in just for the spit. That's some crazy work. Bah. But no, we're actually like flawlessing him. Actually, I'm not I'm, I'm gonna stop saying that because I just got dealt a bar. Every single time I said we're flawlessing someone, something bad always happens, and then like we end up like taking so much damage. Here, boom. Let's do Raiding Kick into Flame Assault. Astro Wind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here, let's just uh, dodge. Get get him out of that thing. Bro, Needle Barrage is the easiest mantra to hit. It's actually crazy. Um, Here. No way! He predicted my Raiding Kick! How could you? Here, boom. Comlo Inhale. Oh, the Inhale didn't work, though. So, not Comlo Inhale. Broken little Inhale. Because it never came out. <laughs> Here, let's do critical. Into uppercut. Or needle brush. His prediction is definitely off cooldown. Because he has like a two second cooldown with the right talent. So, um, I need to be careful for that. Thankfully, we did not get hit by that ice smash. Or else that would have hurt. But he should be knocked soon, I hope. No. 
Okay, I'm gonna just eat this. There we go. Bro, he just slides in. He doesn't even, like, punish you. He just slides in and gets to spit off. Um, I'll start spitting. I hardly eat those guys, but I don't want to put in that effort right now of pressing T. I know. What insane effort to put in. I know, I know. Bro, how am I getting low to him, though? Um, it's just not something I'm used to. But every single time he uses uh, that contract move, he always uses it again. So I always know it's like, look out for it. He's definitely going to use it like... Let's see. Bruh. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. There we go. And he's knocked. Okay, perfect. Um, we definitely got like 20 elo from him. Yeah, I know. People that like play like, play like that, they're so high in chime, guys. So it's just like... It's so obvious about get a, a ton of elo. Guys... Minecraft just sent me his point of view of the fight and let me show you something. This is what one guard break does to you when you get hit by a guard break with rods. Look how much armor he's about to lose. Here, just keep watching. Look, bam! He lost two bars of armor. By, bruh, he lost all his armor. It it was uh, crazy. Um, but yeah, this build is insane for depleting people's armor. And he also has steadfast and 488 HP. So it's like, it's, it's, it's insane. Okay, guys, um, we have a Storm's Eye, Arc Warder, okay, this is going to be a little difficult, because I'm terrible against Storm's Eye, but, yo, we thug it out, it's, it's that simple, also, why is the server so bad, um, okay, let's try to get hit a critical, no way, bro, he had Arc Suit, so he didn't get, bro, that critical hit, but it just didn't register um, for a Scrap Singer since he had Arc Suit on. But, um, okay, come on, let's just keep hitting him. Bah! Bro, we need to get a critical off right now. Oh, let me uh, just block this stuff. Bro, thankfully we got Ardor, like, um, in part two of this build. Because I, I would have been too lazy to get Ardor. Just like I'm too lazy to actually modify my Flame Wisp. Here, let's just, uh, like I said, guys, Storm Side people. They do not know how to play uh, close range. So, here, let's hit him with this. No! Bro, I'm trying to activate our uh, Scrap Singer. Um, but let's just keep close ranging him. Because uh, it, it doesn't look like he's the best at close core combat. But, I mean, it's to be expected when you're playing Storm's Eye, right? But he's really good at parrying the critical, though. I'll give him that. I can never. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Here, let's do Inhale. Hopefully we get a hit off. Boom. Let's give out this. Oh, I was gonna like rating kick him inside. But um Oh. Critical? No way. Please. Boom. No, we dodge this. And then we do oxidize rush. Bro, just let me hit a critical, please. I'll hit one right here. Or not. I am not hitting that critical. Boom. There we go. Let's do metal arm in it. And um there we go. He should almost be knocked. Because I know... I know bro is suffering right now. He has no armor, definitely. So, boom. Let's do Kamlo inhale. Never mind. Uh, instead of inhaling, we actually used the mantra. So, we actually sewed on that part. But, let's keep attacking him. Let me also use Flame Wisp as well. Let me use... Let me get some healing off. Oh, guys. I'll modify that later. Okay? I know... Ow! Why did that thunder kick to a bar? I'm so confused. Here, it's critical. Oh. Bro, I'm so confused by that. Uh, <gasps> thunder kick did a genuine bar. Uh, keep in mind, I have 500 HP, guys. So, like, I don't know how. Here, let's just do uh, critical. Bro, he has not gotten hit by a single critical. Other than the first critical ever. Boom, Asher win. Just keep blocking. This guy is like, this guy is used to um, Flame Keeper. I wish I was him. I wish I was this used to flying Flame Keeper. Okay. I wanted to get a Spine Cutter off, but he's a shield on his back. But there we go. Um, he definitely is going to give us like uh, 20 elo because he's a Storm Side that plays ranged. Oh, he gave us 12. Okay, we're not that far from um, 1500 elo, guys. Okay, guys. Our next match is a Cry's Glaive with Province Thorns. Let's just hit him with the Oxidizing Rush. Get those uh, rods in him. Bah! There we go. 
Let's do a calm little Asher Wind. Oh, he blocked that stuff, but... Um, oh, I forgot that does chip damage. I can't hold F anymore. Because then I actually take damage for it. I want to get a critical off so we can just deplete his armor. So, let's just do up, after Uppercut. But I feel like Scrap Singer should proc on Aftercuts. Uh, uppercuts too. I don't know why I'm saying Aftercuts. But, speaking of Aftercuts, let's just uh, inhale so we can actually proc Aftercut. Guys... This build is so crazy. I'm not, like, lost a single time while recording this. Um, sometimes when I'm, like, warming up, I do, like, chime matches where I lose while warming up. But in this recording, I'm not lost a single time. Here, let's do this. Um, let's just keep block pairing, dodging. Little calm, little critical. That, oh, I'm stunned. Okay. I don't know why I'm playing, um, I'm not spinning my mantras. I can't even jump. He has to come down to me. I'm like, he may be crippled. <gasps> Bro, he actually may be crippled. What is he doing? Is he insane? Okay, Spine Cutter. Never mind. Spine Cutter does not work because he has a shield. That's fine, I guess. Let's just do Metal Arminate into Astral... Into... I said... He put my Astral Wind on cooldown. What a cruel world. <gasps> what an actual cruel world. Well, how could you do that to me? Bruh. It seems like a lot of people know how to parry the way of the way crit. Bruh, I, I would be the best player in the game if I knew how to parry the way of the Neve crit. Um, as well as these guys I'm fighting. Here, let's just uh, faint that so we can get extra damage boost. Boom. Oh. Okay, he got the blows off. It's pretty bad since we need to keep all our healing. You get you guys can see, he played really um aggressive at the start. And now he's playing like really passive. So he's definitely like really low. Um... He's about to do strong left again, I think. Oh, no. I think he's just waiting out his province thorns, I think. I, I'm i not entirely too sure, but that's what I imagine he's doing. Critical. Please. Let me hit. Let me hit one time. Please. There we go. Okay, we just got a ton of rods in him as well. Oh, that's all his armor gone. We just landed a critical with, like, eight rods in him. Yeah, it, it's, it's wraps for a little bro. And he um, made it so we can't jump. So let's just do this. Get the little swords as well. What's he doing? Dodge? Weave? I don't know. He's like 1600 elo, I'm assuming. He's playing like 600 elo, you know? So we're about to get a, a really fat uh, elo pack from him. I'd imagine, right? Boom. Oh. Please. Oh, nice. We hit those. Oh, I just put myself in the storm. Ow. Let's just... There we go. <laughs> All we had to do was impale him, and then we won. He said GG. Let's see how much elo we got from him. Uh, eight. Oh. Okay. Less than I expected. A lot less, but it's fine. Oh, guys. We're, we're fighting Minecraft fan again. Except he's on a different build, so... Maybe that build he was on was just trash. Maybe it was not a showcase of his true skill, so... Let's fight him on his Serpent's Edge Nemesis. Uh, also Flame. But I remember that build. He used to gank with it and um in uh Vactus ganks so let's just keep applying the pressure on him bro our pressure is insane right now bro our pressure is insane he he really cannot do anything here let's inhale let's try to get m1 off it, it's wraps it's so wraps for him here rating kick oh no why can't i use rating kick i'm so confused that was on cooldown okay we could have got the spine cutter off there, but... Oh, he unequipped his weapon. Here, boom. <clears throat> Bro, this build is crazy. I'm really having, like, so much fun with this build. And the fact that I haven't lost once in this part 2 progression is so crazy to me. Uh, hold on. Boom. Calm little critical. And calm little spine cutter as well. Ah, uh, he just got blood healing off me because of that. Nope. Here, let's just keep dodging. Boom. Ow. Okay, let me just, I'm not talking, I'm trying to focus up, but even though, like, I'm fine. We didn't get the spine cutter off, sadly, but it's fine. Ow! Here, boom. Let's do flame assault. Um, yeah, this build is definitely better than his old one. Oh, he, like, bro, did, bro got teleported back when he used that. Okay, I'm just trying to apply uh, rods on him. To be honest, I think Metal Enchant should apply uh, rods on M1. Just because, like, bro, it synergizes, you know? It's 
It's like how how uh, Blazing has a Zerf Flames. Let it synergize with Iron Sting, you know? Okay, boom. He's he's getting hit by the swords as well. Um, his armor is definitely depleted right now. Here, let's just dodge this and do Metal Assault. There we go. Boom. Uh, I, I could swear he got knocked, but I guess not. Let's just jump up. And we might get like... Ow. Okay. Bro, I'm selling. <gasps> oh my god, I'm a seller. He's ranging me now. That's fine. Doesn't really matter that much. Oh, let's dodge that. We can do this as well. Critical. Oh, he dodged it. He's going he's gonna to do a critical right now. Oh, he did the critical on uh, Ash Slam. I see. Okay, boom. Spine cutter. Bop. No. He's definitely low. Okay, he's playing very passive now compared to what he were, was before. But I'm also low because I have been selling. Plus, Minecraft is not bad at all. I, I fought him a lot. He Plus, he was in Bactus. Bro was... Uh, another victory for the OGs. Okay, there we go. GG Minecraft. He, he played really well. Um, let's see how much ELO we get, though. 8 ELO. We're so close to 1,500. So, let's keep on going, guys. All right, guys. We have another match. It is a Warden and Ceremonial Sword. So, he is a... He said, am I going to be a, an vid? All right. Let's just hit him with Oxidizing Rush. Uh, get some rods on him. So that we can actually um, deplete his armor. Also, guys. I decided to put... I decided my inhale the mantra to be Astro Wind because Astro Wind lasts for a lot longer than um, Wind Gun just because it's a three star mantra. And to be honest, I was not landing uh, Astro Wind anyway, so I'd rather have Wind Gun as my number four mantra than Astro Wind, right? So, boom, there we go. Look, that M1 had Speed Demon and Inhale proc, so we're just doing a ton of damage. Um, let's just hit him with the Radiant Kick. And also, Wind Gun. Oh, yeah, let's just vent him off off us because bro did the whip. And that whip is here. I'm going to pull him since the Raj Reval go away. Oh, there we go. Oh, he has a shield, so we can't spine cutter him. Well, that's our extra damage gone. Here, let's also start spinning on him as well. We're getting to a point where um, the Chai matches are starting to actually get difficult. So, we're going to have to start utilizing Spit a lot more. So, here, let's inhale uh, Astro Wind. And, um, ow. Bro got four free hits in. And then, uh, and then a Fire Forge as well. No, you're not hitting me with Cow Traps. I'm sorry. Here, let's just do Needle Barrage into Oxidizing Rush. Oh, he's Raps. I just have to hit a Critical. Come on, Critical. Nice. That's all his armor gone. Oh, but he has Metal, so it doesn't really matter. I just realized this. Okay, I tried to use Spine Cutter, but he has a shield. Ow. Ow. <laughs> ow, my armor. Uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, ow, my uh, health. Okay. His armor is a little bit depleted. Uh, we're not going to be able to fully utilize the build on him since uh, since he has Metal Enchant with Iron Sting. But there we go. He got knocked. Let's see what elo we're at now. Okay, guys. 22 more elo and then we'll have 1500 elo so let's uh, get some more matches done all right guys our next opponent is a spear bro i have i have been using inhale a lot more ever since i swapped it out with uh with uh <laughs> astro wind just because it lasts for like four seconds longer which those four seconds is actually quite a bit of time so here let's just keep inhaling let's him with the radiant kick and the flame assault um one mantra I really want to start using more, a lot more actually, is Metal Armament. Like, it's, it's literally free damage, but I just keep forgetting I have it. That's because it's on the 5 key, right? Also, let's critical this guy so we can get, um, the please his armor. So, oh, what's he doing? Here, let's critical him. Please, just hit, get, hit, get hit by my critical, please. I beg you. Here, boom. There we go. That's, that's like half his armor gone. Um, let's just land more rods on low bro. So we'll do this. There we go. One more critical, and then his armor's completely gone. So there we go. That's his armor completely gone. Um, so yeah. Now he's in rags, basically. Let me inhale my stuff so we can do so much damage to him. And he is suffering. Look at him. This is not even like a fair fight anymore. Bah. Okay. 
if he had any armor left, it is completely gone now. And I mean that with 100% sincerity. Let's use Metal Armor as well. Just for the extra damage. In here, our Astral Wind. Um, let's not get too overconfident. Because I don't want to take more damage than I should. To be honest. But here, boom, parry that. Ow. Into Flame Leap. Boom. Bah. Okay, there we go. Wind Gun. Oh. Bah. There we go. Uh oh. Critical. He should almost be knocked. Because, bro, he has no armor, you know? Plus, that armor he has right there is Transmog. He's probably just wearing a Prophet's Cloak or something like that. I mean, he looks like it. He has the big Herbalist hat as well, so you know he's like a tryhard. Um, let me not get too confident, as I said, because we haven't won yet. But there we go. Now we actually won. So, hopefully this gets us to 1,500 uh, ELO. He said, I have no armor, Supa. GG. Okay, guys, we need 10 more ELO. So, let's go get that real quick. Okay, guys, it is the same person. This guy is about to get us to 1,500 ELO. So, yeah. Let's just deplete his armor real quick. Bah. There we go. Boom. Oh, that was a nasty combo. Plus the wind gun into the uh, Asher wind inhale. Bro, please let me get... Let me get a uh, critical off you. He falls for critical, so it shouldn't be hard. But I just have to keep trying. It's like trying to go through a brick wall. Like, at first it may seem impossible. But if you try hard enough, you can, okay? Believe me. You guys should test it. Here. Um... Let's do Radiant Kick to Critical. There we go. Rest in peace, his armor. It was nice knowing it. <laughs> yeah, his armor was nice uh, while it lasted. And there goes his armor again. I mean, we didn't have any rods on that that time, so probably wasn't that bad. But how did he parry me with his Ice Smash? Oh, my God. Oh, my. Bro. We're cooking him. And we just... Oh, we're cooking him. Here, here, let's land the critical, or at least a flourish, right? Boom. Critical, critical. Let's see. Oh, uh, I guess not. Here, let's do Radiant Kick, Flame Assault, Metal Arm in it as well. Let's not sell, because right now I'm getting a little bit too confident. But here, please, let me land a critical or a flourish, any of those. Boom, and rest in peace. Okay. We should have 1500 ELO now. Let's let's see, guys. Yep, 1501. So in part one, guys, we ended off at 1200 ELO from 800 ELO. So that's 400 ELO. Um, I think I'm going to end part two with a plus 300 ELO win. So yeah, guys, in part three, which we're going to try to get to 800 ELO, uh, 1800 ELO. And then part four should be the part where we get Godseeker, hopefully. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Let me know if you guys want uh, more series like this. And uh Bye-bye, guys.